Their lawn might soon start looking a little bit greener. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says La Nina officially ended yesterday, giving way to its counterpart, El Nino. Uh, these aren't storms or events, but rather broader weather phenomenon. El Nino can mean wetter, cooler months for us in April, May, and June. And the good news in Texas, where more than 70% of the state is experiencing drought, 2022 was the warmest La Nina on record. And some forecasters say the next year, or two will likely climb even higher. I hear uh, El Nino and I get flashbacks. Yeah. Not, not in a good way. No? 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 I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. You know what? I don't